Hi, this is Amy Wan with Security Token Academy. I'm here at Security Token Industry Launch Week with John Livesey. He's Chief Marketing Officer at Quantum RE. John, welcome. Thanks, Amy. It's good to be with you. So your company works in the real estate tokenization space. Um, can you tell me how will tokenizing real estate or real estate securities uh, improve the real estate industry? Well, the way that tokenization improves the real estate industry is that we're taking something that's not liquid, i.e. the equity in homeowners' homes and making it liquid on the blockchain. Because right now that equity is locked up, it's dead money, and we release it to homeowners by buying a percent of their home, so they get the cash without taking on more debt. Then we take that equity that we're buying and put it on the blockchain as a token backed by actual real estate assets. And now everyday people can become real estate investors without the headache of being a landlord or needing huge amounts of cash to buy the real estate. So more generally, if you're looking at the real estate tokenization industry, what do you think is going to end up being tokenized first? Are we talking the debt piece, the equity piece? Um, is it going to be residential or commercial? Uh, is it going to be large funds or single properties? What do you think? Well, there's a lot of different people working on different segments at the same time. Um, I think commercial is probably going to be first. There's a lot of conversations around, oh, let's buy a percent of the Empire State Building. Um, our niche is residential real estate. We've already released $300 million of equity in over 300 homes in California. And so we know how to do that. And that's our special sauce. And now tokenizing it will allow everyday people to invest in that asset class that hasn't been available for anybody to really invest in because it's not part of a REIT right now. So we're making something that's not liquid liquid and giving people access to an asset class they've never been able to invest in before. So one of the issues in crowdfunding generally, but also specifically in real estate crowdfunding, is that um, you know often the deal terms to retail investors wouldn't be nearly as good or you didn't have access to you know, more white glove opportunities as opposed to, you know, maybe maybe properties that don't look quite as enticing. Um, how do we combat that in the real estate tokenization industry? Well, I think the that's the beauty of the blockchain, is even if you have $500 or $1,000 and you want to get into the game now, you can buy a fraction of a fraction of a home or a fraction of a fraction of a token that lets you in that you don't have to be insider information to know what's going on. In fact, we built something called the Active Portfolio for that laptop and latte crowd that likes to invest and do things on their own. And if they want to buy homes in one specific neighborhood that they think is going to take off, they can do that, which really allows people a lot of freedom to pick what they know best. Can you explain for me the difference between um, uh, applying blockchain to real estate, so really, you know, uh, uh, you're really applying blockchain technology to the deed aspect versus um, uh, actually tokenizing real estate where there's a security aspect involved. Well, the difference between blockchain being used to, let's say, eliminate the need for escrow is one whole area. And the other way is how can we tokenize an asset of real estate so that it becomes liquid? And I think when those two things are available, that's what really revolutionizes the real estate industry. So you um, mentioned removing escrow. How does that happen with the application of blockchain technology? Well, right now everything is centralized. And if they want to do a title search on a home, they have to go and manually look and make sure that they, they, fingers crossed, we didn't miss anything. Kind of like lawyers doing research before they go into court, they hope they've got everything. Mm -hmm. If everything's on the blockchain, it's completely transparent and you no longer have to worry about is there some other owner or some other loan on that property before I buy it. Interesting. Um, you know, uh, go, the, the mission to tokenize real estate is a very tall order. There's a lot that has to be done. Yes. You're dealing with industry incumbents. How long do you think it's going to take for this to go mainstream? Well, I think it's, everything's being disrupted, including real estate agents. Right? Do we really need, are there going to be more, more advisors? Are, all of that stuff gets opened up faster than people think it's going to. The speed is going to depend on how fast the SEC regulations allow people to start getting involved with this. But you know, right now, if you start taking small sections, it's going to be a little bit here, a little bit there, and it's going to snowball faster than people, I think, expect. Fantastic. John, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Amy.